said that it includes the crust mix with grated Parmesan cheese, herbs, and tomato sauce. Say to gradually add two thirds cup to one cup of warm, not hot water, mixing well with fork or hands to form the ball. Let's get started. the whole bag, this will make two pizza crusts. So now I'm going to slowly add in our water and I'm going to mix it with the spoon. Now I'm going to mix the dough with my hand. one tablespoon of oil so it doesn't stick. And I'm just gonna go ahead and knead the oil in. My dough is now ready and I'm gonna go ahead and cover the top and let it rise for 10 minutes. Make sure it is warm. All right, so the dough has been rising and you can see that it's rised a lot. So much bigger now. Uh-huh. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut the dough into half and one of the halves will make one pizza crust. So what you wanna do is you wanna make a ball out of the dough and you wanna leave it for two minutes. All right, so our dough is now resting and it's going to be rising for two minutes. While it's resting, I'm, we're gonna tell you what you're gonna need to roll it out. You're going to need a board or something like to roll it on. And a rolling pin. You're also going to need some flour so it doesn't stick to your surface. And a pan. So I rolled out my dough and it's now a good size for my pan. So now we're gonna let it rest for five minutes. All right, so now it's time to make our pizza. Before you start making your pizza, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're gonna start making our pizza. Here are the toppings we chose. Mushrooms, onions, red pepper, and orange pepper. We're also using herbs and Parmesan cheese, as well as pizza sauce. We also have some pineapple, some olives, and of course, cheese. So now we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna put some sauce on. The dough has been resting for five minutes. You can see all the air bubbles on it. Now I'm gonna start putting the sauce on the pizza. Alright, so now I'm going to sprinkle some herbs on top of the sauce. We're using mozzarella cheese. This is our favorite cheese. Now we're going to add our toppings. We're starting with mushrooms. You can use whatever toppings you would like. Now we're going to add red pepper. Add some orange pepper, some onions. Now we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top. And then now we're gonna go ahead and add our pineapple and olives. We're gonna start with the pineapple. We're gonna add our olives. I love olives on my pizza. Yeah, I really like the taste. Now the pizza's ready to go in the oven. You're gonna cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes 
and make sure you ask a parent to put it in the oven and take it out for you. So the next pizza we're making is a Mediterranean pizza. This is a totally different pizza. So here are the things you're gonna to need to make the Mediterranean pizza. We have some mushrooms, red pepper, spinach, broccoli, and some onions. We also have some pineapple, some olives, artichoke, and some corn. And here's the twist on our sauce. We added some spices in there and some pesto sauce. This is a really healthy pizza. So we're gonna go ahead and put the sauce on the pizza. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and mix it. She's gonna mix the pesto sauce in there. So the sauce is done on our pizza. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some of our cheese. We're gonna add a little bit and not too much because we're gonna put some spinach. Now we're gonna add in our spinach. Now we're gonna just add some more cheese and then we're gonna add the rest of our toppings. A really cool thing about this pizza is it's a rectangle. Now we're gonna add our toppings, starting with mushrooms. All right, so now we're gonna add our red peppers. Now we're gonna add broccoli. Now we're gonna add some onions. We're gonna sprinkle some cheese on top. Now we're gonna add some pineapple. Now we're gonna add some olives. Now we're gonna add some artichoke. This is like the final piece to a Mediterranean pizza. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna add some corn. This pizza's looking great already. I can't wait to taste it. Now we're gonna put this in the oven. Make sure you ask a parent to help you. Ready and we take, took it out of the oven. So now my dad is gonna sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top. So now it's time to taste test. I'm so excited. Thank you. So excited to try the pizzas. One, two, three, go. Mmm. Mmm. It is so yummy. The crust is like really, really soft. I really like it. I really like the Parmesan cheese on top. And I can even taste the spices. I would totally try this again. So now I'm gonna sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top.
pizza was delicious. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see the full written recipe, it will be in the description box down below. Please like this video and give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now. And I just want to say that this pizza is super duper good. And I totally recommend that you guys should make the dough and just make the pizza because it's really, really good. And the crust is really, really soft, which I really, really like. Please comment down below if, it, if this recipe worked for you. And let us know if you like it. Bye for now. See you in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. And turn on post notifications to be up alert when we upload a new video. And share. Bye. You should totally take one, it's so good.